Hello and welcome uh, from the Circles team. Uh, here's a quick screencast. It's an introduction to screencasting. Uh, what you are actually watching is a screencast of screencasts. Uh, essentially, um, anytime you record your screen and you sync your voice to that recording, you are making a screencasted movie. And those movies can be shared with students in a variety of ways. As teachers, uh, we can use this tool to show students how to, say, log into Atlas or other online aspects of classes. We can introduce students to a course. We can demonstrate how to use features of online texts. Karen Cowden on West Campus has even used screencasting to host virtual Senate meetings. Here's an example of screencasting for a guided tour of how to use a database. This particular screencast shows teachers how to add other teachers to their Blackboard courses. In this video, I'm demonstrating how to use a MoveNote, which is a super easy slide casting or screencasting tool that anybody can use. In the same screencast, I also showed uh, how uh, we could demo applications on smart devices with a screencast. Here's another move note, uh, which is something you'll all be getting some hands-on with today, so we wanted to show you a couple of those. I also love using screencasting to give feedback to student papers. It takes about the same amount of time as hand grading, but it provides students with contextualized video that makes sense to them. My favorite way to use screencasting, though, is not to use it at all, but instead to ask students to use it to teach back what they're learning in class. What follows is a quick introduction to Jing and Screencast-O-Matic, two free and easy-to-use tools for teachers. Enjoy! All right, so this first uh, screencasting tool we're looking at is Jing. And what you'll notice over here is this right here is Jing. I control Jing just by rolling over it, and um, it gives me this crosshair. And what I do with the crosshair is I set up a screen that I want to record. Then all I do is I say, well, do I want to take a picture of that or shoot a video? And for this case, I'll go ahead and shoot a video. Um, it will tell me that the mic is being turned on and that I'm recording. And then anything I do in this video, for example, if I highlight this text and talk about it, what it does is it makes the video and it saves it and so I can play it back for you and what happens is, is it's ready to go now one of the beauties of Jing is you could set it up to go to your Dropbox you can set it up to go uh, right to screencast which is a place where uh, you save files and all you do is you just drop it now one of the neat features is, is as soon as it drops that video it puts the link um, for that video on your, it sends it up to the cloud and puts it so that you can copy and send that link. And you can paste that link right there and send that movie that you just made, that quick screencast, uh, right back to the student. So you may remember I was doing that, and there it is. The movie I was just making is ready to go back to the student. Uh, it allows you to respond to papers, it allows you to do a lot of different things. And so that's Jing. The next program that I like to talk about uh, that is like Jing, it's called Screencast-O-Matic. It does very similar things. Uh, there is a pro version, but I like to use the free version. Basically, it looks like Jing in the way it works. Uh, what it does is it gives you this kind of uh, container or, or space for, for moving and controlling where you're going to record. And so what you do is you identify whether you want to record or not. And you also need to say whether or not you want to have your webcam picture included or not. I'll go ahead and keep my webcam picture included. Um, and then you click the record button and it starts recording. Now, just like Jing, it gives you a countdown and you talk in the picture and you highlight what you want to highlight. And when you're done, you click done. And then it gives you choices. What do you want to do with this video? Well, one of the nice features of Screencast-O-Matic is rather than making a flash file, um, it allows you to publish directly to YouTube. And so uh, I'll go ahead and do a test on this. I'm not going to put any tags or anything. I'm just going to test it. Notice it's connected to my uh, Professor May YouTube account. I can upload this now to YouTube. And of course, once it's there, I can click on the link and watch it on YouTube. And there it is, ready to play. All right, now, of course, with YouTube, you can share with your students. You can go ahead and go to the share settings and give students the link, or you can also embed your YouTubes right into your Blackboard courses. All right, uh, that's a little bit on these two screencasting tools. Uh, we just wanted to share them, and um, so hope that helps.
50 billion cubic meters of fuel every year. That's not something the average person 